Hey, how's it going guys? Sean here. Um, I wanted to show you guys real quick a uh, program that I like to use for uh, kind of organizing and finding all my sounds and samples that I use with uh, Ableton Live. But you can of course use this with any DAW or um, um, you know audio software that you like to work with. Um, but uh, in my case, I, I most often use Ableton Live for music creation, production, DJing, and that kind of stuff. And uh, the only thing I've come to not really, f you know, enjoy it fully, I guess, uh, is the search function in Ableton Live. I think could use, you know, could be a little bit better. But um, I kind of I understand why it's the way it is because really, you know, it's it's an audio uh, DAW first and foremost and searching and you know file organization and stuff was kind of the last thing on its list so uh, but, it, but it basically anyways you know over here you have your your search folders which you can organize you have three folders that you can set up and um, use and stuff but um, what I've come to realize is you know it's I don't really care f too much for the kind of the hierarchy structure of finding files and stuff and you know if you want to search for things you got to search in here and you know, it's small and kind of just doesn't really do it for me of course you can kind of drag this out so you can see better but you know he's still opening folders within folders and it's kind of clunky to go back and forth and and stuff and I don't really care for it too much so I, I went searching for to find a better solution and I found uh, this program um, called Audio Finder, um, and I truly love it. Uh, after using the demo and stuff, I went and bought it. It's I it does cost some money. It's I think it's around seventy bucks. Uh, but it's after using it, I realize realize it's to me it's worth it. Um, if you do use a lot of sounds and samples for music creation or DJing or whatnot, this program is awesome. Um, because basically what it does is when you first get it, it's going to ask to uh, whether it can search your whole hard drive for audio, it'll ask what kind of audio files do you want to include or exclude from the searches. Um, that way you can find strictly just WAV or AIFF and have it ignore MP3s if you want or have it search those as well. But it'll search your entire hard drive and catalog all the audio sounds and samples that you have from your music to sam you know one second samples and everything in between. And uh, it works great too if you have several hard drives hooked up, external hard drives and stuff like I do here. I have my internal uh, main library will search everything, my internal hard drive, and I also have an external that I have it search. And I use several different, um, you know, DVDs of sample libraries and sounds that I kind of, you know, give me ideas or pull from or start, you know, a basis with something. And um, I also started out years ago using Reason, and uh, I can still use all those Reason refills, which is great. You know, I have 300 gigabytes nearly of Reason refills that I can pull from. And um, so basically, what it is is it once it organizes all the catalogs, everything, it'll show up here, and uh, you know, you see it right here showing MP3s. But I can, you know, for example, maybe I want to. I'm working on a song, and I want to find a hi hat. Um, I just type it in and it finds all the hi-hats that I have within my external hard drive and if you click on it you'll instantly play it and you can see the waveform and the great thing about this program is because it's cataloged everything it works very very fast it's actually faster than the uh, built-in uh, preview in Ableton I've noticed um, I can scroll down just hitting the down arrow and I'll hear the next sample and I can see the waveform and then other great thing is I can change the, the P, uh, the, I'm sorry, I can change the uh, pitch or key of the uh, sample to kind of preview it before I even, even drop anything into Ableton. And if uh, you can hear it there, just changing the pitch of the sample, which is sweet. Um, you can also double click on something and it opens up this little preview window. And I can add, uh, uh, loop regions. I can add a you know a fade in, a fade out. Um, I can even adjust the gain on it a little bit if it's a little low and bring that uh, overall sound up a little bit. And another great one is reverse it and then preview it. 
and it's on a loop, so you can loop samples as well, or just hear it once. Uh, and this is great. I find it saves me tons of time, and it's really, really, you know, useful. I get to see the waveform, and it's much, much faster than the one that's built into Ableton. And if I like something, you know, um, it gives you an option to save it, of course, because you've modified the file. It'll save it and then rename it. But if I like something like just the original, I just simply drag it in to Ableton like that. And now I have it. And um, I'll let you guys kind of hear it here. And uh, that's basically it. Um, if we kind of uh, warp and loop this, we'll... You you guys will be able to hear more. So that's basically it um, about this program um, made by, I believe the name of the company is Iced Audio, uh, Audio Finder. It's a great program and uh, I hope that helps you guys out and uh, um, I look forward to hearing any feedback you guys have or how you guys use this program or if there's any cool tricks that you know of or maybe there's a different program that you guys use. Um, but uh, I appreciate the feedback and uh, take care. Peace, guys.